he, he threw for 482 yards today. Wow. It's so a great, was, great, was, great performance. Was that part of the, the plan coming in, like not run at all? No, the plan is whatever they give us, we go with. So at the end of the day, if they give us the pass, we go to the pass. If they give us the run, we go to the run. So, you know, those guys are just doing what their coaches do, and our coaches do a phenomenal job of game planning. And just this week, obviously, we were able to see some things and do some things. To be honest, I just knew our offense would do what we needed to do. Washburn. Shout out to Coach Burris, Coach Washburn. They have faith in us. Do what Coach we need to Washburn. do on this field to have outcomes like this. I think it's a combination of him, number one. Just He's just excited. His senior year, he didn't get to play last year, so he gets a chance to come out and play. Um, he works incredibly hard. Um, and then, obviously, you have the, the, the receivers and the offensive line, so you have all those pieces around him, and he's got the protection. And then the coaches. You throw the coaches in there, and, I mean, those guys are constantly looking at ways to get those guys better every day in practice. So for, for the whole situation, it's, it's just a perfect situation for them. What was wrong last year that you were hurt? Uh, I don't know. The doctor, I forget what it's called, but that's not wrong with my elbow. And it just, I had to have surgery and I had to was out for a long time. It yeah. was, it was crushing. I was upset highly. At first, I was like upset, didn't want to talk to anyone. Then I had to come back for the team, show my support. All day. Yeah, it's good to have him. Uh, he, he, he's been injured the past two years, but now he's out here and you see the result. He's going through the reads, he's going through progression. He was here all summer and that's part of a big reason why. I worked with him a lot all summer. He committed, he came every day and, and we're, we're clicking. Actually, I played with him my freshman and sophomore year. So I played freshman ball with them and no one moved up, but I had um, I played JV with uh, Cody Andrew, so we had a connection for a while. You're probably in the, the record book now. This is probably the most yards an NFA quarterback's ever thrown for in a game. Does that mean anything? Yeah, I guess so, but I'm not content yet. My, what we want to do is win a state chip, you know. So gotta do what I gotta do to get there. For me, it's if his work is working, you know, obviously no matter what, if we're throwing or passing and we're not able to get something, then we got to be able to make sure we figure out why, you know, so no matter what, we're going to look at everything and find why weren't we as successful in certain areas and why were we and we go to the film tonight and, and we get it all cleaned up and I know the coaches will come in on Monday fixing everything and have a great, great practice week. How exciting is it to be 2-0 going to Shelton, I mean, SEC? It's exciting, but we're, we're definitely on a 3-0. We're not excited yet. We're not satisfied yet. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a big game. 2-0, both teams. Oh, yeah. It's a great opportunity on the road. And, I mean, you're talking about a, you know, a powerhouse in the state of Connecticut. So it's a great opportunity for us.